Hey guys, come here. I want to show you something. My name is Sam, and welcome to the studio. Also my apartment. All right, so first of all, we have this gaming chair from DX Racer. Uh, this was one of the first things I ever bought for YouTube just because I thought it would look really cool. Um, but I mean, it's like, I don't know, it's super loud. Um, like this part right here is plastic, so it hurts the back of my head. Um, and it was pretty expensive, but uh, like I said, it looks cool and, and that's the most important thing. So next off, we have the uh, the desk itself, which is from Flexispot. It is a standing desk, so it has several different presets that you can set it to. Um, I'm in here a lot and I'm, you know, I work for eight hours, then the rest of the day I spend on like editing film. So I need to be able to have the ability to sit and stand when I want to. All of the equipment I own has been slowly accumulated over the past several years. I'm a total gearhead, so I'm always looking into, you know, what the new monitors are, the new cameras, lights, uh, anything I can do to improve the overall look of my videos. All right, so first off, let's just go from left to right here. We have the Go XLR Mini, which is a USB audio interface, and it hooks up to this XLR microphone, which is the Blue Bluebird SL. And this is connected to a blue compass, which connects to the back of this. So I really like this thing because it has the different faders. You know, it has things where you can control your mic volume, your music volume, your game chat. So say you're playing a game and some kid is screaming in your ear, you can just, and they're silenced. Next up, we have this, uh, this hub right here, which connects to these headphones. These are the Arctic Wireless Pro from SteelSeries, in white, of course. And um, these were like $350, and honestly, not that impressed with them. Um, like if I wear these for more than like 30 minutes, they start to hurt. This top part is just like pure metal, so it hurts the top of my head. So pretty disappointed with them. Um, I used to have Beats headphones, which broke unfortunately. And I know a lot of people give crap to Beats, but I mean, I could wear those all day and they were comfortable and they sounded great. But uh, I already paid for these, so I guess I'll just keep using them for now. My setup was actually built with live streaming in mind. Having a wireless headset, an XLR mic, an audio interface with faders so I can adjust the volume on the fly. It was something I was doing at the beginning of last year a lot. I would go on Twitch and stream coding, gaming, uh, just general chatting, but I kind of took a back seat, but it's something that I've always wanted to do on a regular schedule, and it's something that I plan to do more of in this coming year. We also have the Xbox controller. Now, I don't have an Xbox, but these connect wirelessly to my gaming PC. So, you know, if I ever just want to get a quick game in, I have this controller here. I also have this Nintendo Switch, because why not? Who doesn't want to switch? And uh, this is more for like, if I just want to do some like casual gaming, uh, I definitely bust this out. We also have a Rubik's Cube here. So say if I'm ever stuck on a bug or a problem, uh, you know, I'll work on this for a while and hopefully by the time I finish this, I'll have also figured out the bug. We have this pop doll here, which is Mr. Bob Ross, also my inspiration. And his head always falls off because it's just way too big. I don't know why they make the head so big. Uh, we have the AirPod Pros, AirPods Pro, AirPods Pro. We also have this uh, lens right here, which is, uh, I should probably talk about my camera. Um, right now I'm using a Sony A6400. Normally it would be on this cheap tripod from Amazon, but right now it's on me. So it also has a 10 to 18 millimeter lens on it. So I can get kind of like a wide angle. Um, and then I also have this lens right here, which is really what I use in most of my videos. It's the Sony, not the Sony, it's the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 lens. I really like it because it allows me to get that kind of blurry background. I think they call it bokeh or is it bokeh? I think it's bokeh, but yeah. I do wanna say that you don't really need any of this fancy gear to do whatever you're trying to do. When I first started making videos, I really just used the, the camera on my phone. I bought a cheap light and a cheap clip-on mic from Amazon. It wasn't until I decided this is something that I wanted to do on a regular basis before I did start upgrading my equipment. And I only upgraded it with money that would come in from YouTube and I would use that to purchase more equipment, which would then hopefully improve the overall quality of my content. 
Uh, here we have this RGB keyboard from Cooler Master. It's a mechanical keyboard, which, you know, it feels great to type on, but it is pretty loud. So like if I'm ever on a Zoom call and I want to like sneak something in, uh, I can't. I guess I could mute myself. Next up we have, let's say these two lights right here. Uh, so these are two lights from Elgato. This is the key light air on the left. This is the key lights. They were probably in total over $300, which is a lot for lighting, but I really like how soft they are. Um, they're very, you can adjust them with your phone. And um, even though they are 300, they kind of give you a cinematic look to your video, which I think gives you $3,000 results. Finally, we have the stars of the show here, the two monitors. This here on the right is a, just kind of like an old 1080p monitor. On the left here is my baby. I just got this in a few weeks ago. This is a 27 inch 1440p, 144 Hertz gaming monitor. And I mean, once you get this, you really can't go back to a 1080 monitor. I think it's, it's kind of a game changer. As a content creator, I try to avoid purchasing things that'll just make my experience better and rather spend that money on things that'll make the content better, whether it be buying a new lens or, you know, recently I hired someone to redesign my logo, but I finally did give in and purchase that monitor and uh, I don't regret it one bit. So that's everything on the desk here. Let's talk about my PC a little bit. If you want to just come down here real quick. So this is a pre-built gaming PC from iBuyPower. Um, it is a few years old, but I did buy it with like the top of the line spec. So even today it's, you know, it's still pretty good for editing 4K video, gaming, coding, whatever. So I'm really happy with the purchase. Um, I do also have this guy right here, which is the Elgato Camlink 4K. And this is just for if you want to hook up like a DSLR camera uh, to my computer and use it as a webcam. I did forget to mention the specs of my PC. So it has an Intel i7 7700K CPU, an MSI Z270 motherboard, 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD and a GTX 1080 graphics card from NVIDIA. In the future, I do plan on building my own PC, but for this one, I just didn't really want to go through the hassle of it. And um, by the way, all everything that I listed will be in the Amazon link down in the description. All right, now let's talk a little bit about the background that you guys see in my videos. Um, but actually, I almost forgot. This right here is a MacBook Pro. It's a 2018 15 inch. Don't really use it that much since I do have the gaming PC, but I don't know if I'm ever like traveling or I don't know if I'm ever like want to just lie in bed and like watch some Netflix, then I'll, I'll bust this thing out. On the wall here, we have the acoustic foam, which is really just for aesthetic purposes. Um, I would probably need to fill up like the whole wall for it to actually make a difference. Um, we also have this, which might be the favorite, my favorite part of the room. It's the Lifex beam. I call it my, uh, my lightsaber on the wall. And it's the, um, who had the blue lightsaber? I think it was Anakin, right? Yeah, it's Anakin's lightsaber. Um, down here we have the Mario block, which, uh, wait for it. There we go. Uh, so we have the Mario block. We have this like weird thing that I got at a career fair from Google. And then down here we have Pac-Man, which is something that I want at the OC fair by beating a bunch of eight-year-olds in a carnival game. So I'm very proud of it. Coming over here, we have uh, this Triforce light from the, Le the Legend of Zelda series. Best gaming series ever. And then we just have more acoustic foam and another LifeX beam. I did also want to mention the two floodlights that I use. They were super cheap, like 30 bucks each, but they make such a big impact on the overall video. I like to set the mood with my lighting and I feel like it really allowed my videos to stand out amongst the ocean that is YouTube. And I've gotten a lot of compliments on my lighting. So I'm all about something that's super cheap, but can make a large impact. All right, so that's gonna do it for the tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. All this stuff was made possible thanks to you guys for you know, watching my videos, liking them, sharing them. So I really do appreciate that. And I'm really excited for you know the ideas that I have planned for you guys uh, in this coming year. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep on coding. Now, uh, I got a lot of stuff to do, so you guys, you guys gotta get out of here. Like, like, like go.